Year 7. Today we are starting on estimating and rounding. So let's fill in a few blanks here for our dot points. The first dot point says, estimates or approximations to answers of problems can be found by rounding numbers to the nearest 10, 100,000, etc. So rounding is your first word to put in there. The next dot point, the symbols now you'll see this one here, it's like an equal sign, but they're a little bit wavy. So a wavy equal sign. And this next symbol here in this first blank, it's an equal sign with a dot on either side of it. Both of those symbols mean approximately equal to. So they're not, not exactly the same, but they are approximately the same. Okay, fill those blanks in down to the rules for rounding numbers. If the digit next in line is a 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4, then we round the number down. Okay, and that means that the previous digit stays the same. If the next digit is a 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9, then we round up, which means the previous digit increases by 1. Okay, it always makes more sense when you actually do these questions. Now before we do though, let's just have a quick recap. In purple here, I've written down a number, 24,158. So I just wanted to remind you of the positioning, the names of the positions. So starting from the right hand side, the eight position, the last number, we call that the units or the ones. The next one along the five is the tens position. The next one along the one is in the hundreds position. The four is the thousands and the two is ten thousands. So remember that order um, for naming the positions of your integers. Okay, so let's go into the examples. Example number one, we want to round the numbers as indicated by the brackets. So our first number is 86 and we want to round it to the nearest 10. Okay, so over here from my purple number, Remember that my tens is the second one in from the end. So in this 86, that means that the eight is in the tens position. Now, to know how to round it, we actually look at the number slightly to the right of it, the number after it, this six here, okay? We look at that six, and if that number is a zero, one, two, three, or four, then we would just round that six off to be a zero. But if the digit is a five, six, seven, eight, or nine, which this one is, it means we need to round that eight that I've circled, we want to round it up by one. Okay, so it's a six, I need to round up so that eight becomes a nine, and we change the second digit to a zero. So the closest 10 is 90. We've rounded up to 90. Okay, let's try that again. Takes a bit of practice. Let's try the next number. 61 is our number this time. So we are rounding to the nearest 10. So again, that is the six here is in the tens position. So we look at the number after the six, the one. Now, because that number is less than five, it means we are going to round down, which basically means we just change that one into a zero. The six doesn't change at all. It stays a six, but the one, we just round it down to zero, to the nearest 10. Okay, part C. We have 4,142 that we want to round to the nearest 100. Okay, so counting from the end, from this two, there's the ones, tens, and the hundreds is this one here. So I look at the number after, the four, and because it's less than five, I want to round down. So the four that's at the front will stay there. The one stays the same because we're rounding down. And these last two digits, the four and the two, both change into zeros. So 4,100 is our rounded answer. Part D. We want to round 7,689 to the nearest 100. Again, let's have a look. 9 is the 1s 
Eight is the tens and six is the hundreds. That's the number that we need, might need to round up or down. So the number after it, the eight, because it's above five, we know we're wanting to round up. Okay, it's going to push this number up. The seven at the front stays. The six rounds up to a seven. And the last two digits turn into zeros. Part E, this time we want to round to the nearest thousand. So ones, tens, hundreds, whoops, sorry, count from the right spot, from the nine. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands is that four. Okay, so we look at the number after, which is the seven. It's higher than five, it's, so we're going to round up. So the two stays the same, the four gets rounded up, and everything else, those three digits that were left, the seven, eight, and the nine, all turn into zeros. And F, one more of these. We want to round to the nearest thousand. So ones, tens, hundreds, thousands is the four. After the four is a one, which means we just need to round everything down. The eight stays the same, the four stays the same, and everything else turns to zeros. Okay, turning over the page. Question two. It says to estimate the following numbers to the leading digit. So when you see that word leading digit, it means the first digit. So this first number here, 2345, the first digit or the leading digit is the two, the one right at the front. So I just want to round everything else off after it. So basically I want to look at, that's the two, that's where I'm rounding to. The three is the next number afterwards. So because it's less than five, I will leave the two the same and everything else rounds down to zeros. And you'll see our approximately equal sign coming in here. So 2,345 is approximately equal to 2,000 if you round to the leading digit. Okay, for B we're rounding to the leading digit of 9, so we look at the number after it, the 6. Because it's larger than 5, we're going to round up, so that 9 needs to become a 10. Okay, there is still two places after that, what was a 9, which need to become 0, so there needs to be two more zeros. So 968 is approximately equal to 1,000 if you round to the leading digit. Okay, in question three, we want to do some small calculations, but we want to do approximate answers to these problems. So to do that, we're going to round each number to the leading digit first. So. The first number we have in part A here is 42. The leading digit of 42 is the 4. Okay, because it's a 2 afterwards, that's going to round down. And so 42 would be approximately equal to 40 when it's been rounded. Now the second number, the 7, it is only a one digit number. Okay, so the 7 is the leading digit. It's not going to round up or down. It's just going to stay there as a 7. So we've approximated 42 times 7 to be 40 times 7. Now that is a calculation that we can hopefully easily do in our head. To do this multiplication, what you want to do is you want to ignore the 0 for a minute. And you just need to know the times table 4 times 7. 4 times 7 is 28. And that 0 that we were ignoring just sits here at the end. Okay, let's try that again for part B. We've got two numbers here that we want to multiply. Let's start with 95. So 9 is the leading digit. Because there is a 5 afterwards, we need to round up. So 9 will become a 10. And we need another 0 for that 5 that we've rounded. Then we're going to have our time sign. And we have a second number that we need to round, 326. Now the 3 is the leading digit. After the 3 is a 2, so it's below 5, we round down. 
and that will be three, and we round down, we have two zeros after that. Okay, now when we want to do the multiplication here, we're going to ignore all those zeros, and we're going to multiply those leading digits. One times three is three, and all those zeros collect up afterwards. So there's four zeros, so there'll be four zeros on my answer. So it becomes 30,000. Okay, question four. Estimate the answers to these problems by rounding both numbers as indicated. Okay, so 4a says you want to round each number to the nearest hundred. Okay, so the ones, tens, hundreds is the two position here. It's because we have 215. So because the one that's after that two there is less than five, we're going to round it down to be 200. Okay, please make sure you always show how you've rounded. It's a very important part of your working out. Okay, the second number, 92, well, we only have a ones and a tens there. So there's not even a hundreds position. So there's even, you could imagine there's even like a zero there if you want to put a number there. The number after that, though, is a nine, which means we need to round up and it would become 100. Okay, so now that we've done our rounding, we want to multiply that together. So we multiply the leading digits. Two times one is two. So we can say this is equal to two, and all the zeros, there's four of them, collect at the end, so 20,000. One last question, we have 266 divided by nine. We want to round to the nearest 10. So in 266, that six there is in the tens position. Because there is a six afterwards, we want to round up to become 270. Now the nine is only a ones digit, it has no tens, but because it's above five, it would round up to be a 10. So it would be divided by 10. Now when we were multiplying before, when we multiplied our numbers, we added up all the zeros for our answer. When you divide, you want to take off the zeros. So because I'm dividing by 10 and 10 has one zero, I can divide 270 by 10 by crossing off that zero. So it becomes 27. Okay, that's it. Time for you to practice.